Oh, that's a fine, that's a fine tea. Mm. I get notes of gin. There's a, a orange liqueur, maybe triple sec, double sec? No, triple sec, triple sec. Mm. What is that, vodka? Oh, definitely, De I, the, the lack of odor is vodka. And we've got tequila, rum. So, oh, they used a, they used a rich demerara syrup in that thing. Oh, wow. Coca-Cola, is that Coca-Cola? Pepsi-Cola, Coca-Cola, RC-Cola. Well, that, that's Coca-Cola. This is gonna be a delight. Uh, uh. Yeah, I was right. I was right. Yep, definitely Coca-Cola. Today we're making a Long Island iced tea. Get all the booze in your bar together and we're gonna throw it into a big jug. No, I'm excited, I'm excited. Welcome back. Today, we're doing the Long Island iced tea, which is unlike any other drink that we've done on this channel. But I thought it was important because it gets ordered no matter what kind of bar you have. If it's a dive bar, cocktail bar, tiki bar, there's gonna be somebody that comes in and orders a Long Island iced tea. It's that popular. There are so many different renditions of what that is. Even the history itself is kind of cloudy. So I wanna show you how I make it at the bar and I've actually never made one for myself. So I'm gonna make one and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make the Long Island iced tea. To the bar. In 1972, there was a bartender. His name was Robert Butt. He went by the name Rosebud. Why, I'm not sure. Anyway, Bob Butt claims to have invented the Long Island iced tea because he used that cocktail to win a competition. So he claims that he invented the drink. However, there was some controversy because in the 60s, there were two separate cookbooks that had already printed a recipe for a spiked cocktail called the Long Island iced tea. So who's to say? I don't know. But I do find it interesting that there are other people that say it has roots that date back to the 1920s to an old man bishop. He lived in a community called Long Island in Tennessee. Mr. Bishop went by old man bishop and created a cocktail called the old man bishop, which was five base spirits thrown together in a glass, much like today's Long Island iced tea. So it could be Mr. Bishop that started this cocktail or it could be Bob Butt. I don't know. I'm gonna show you the recipe that I make because at the bar, it gets called for and there's no way around it. It's a recipe that as far as Long Island iced teas go, I think is very good. A lot of people will make this right in the glass, just pour it in, add the ice, top it with Coke, but I'm going to shake it up because it just brings it all together and it adds air to the cocktail. If you're gonna do this, you might as well do it right. <laughs> so I've got my Boston shaker, a jigger. I know a lot of bartenders are gonna free pour this one, but I'm gonna measure it. I've got a bottle opener because I am planning on opening a bottle, a knife, and you're gonna want a vessel large enough to hold all of this booze, which I have here. This is gonna be a big one, so get ready. I'm chilling this at the bar. I actually don't chill it. This was last minute me trying to be fancy, but make sure it's big enough. This <sighs> now the booze. You might want to get a piece of paper and a pen to write all this down. We're gonna need vodka, light rum, gin, blanco tequila, triple sec, lemon juice, freshly squeezed, demerara syrup, this is a rich demerara, so two to one, and cola, or Coke. Real quick about the booze. If you are a connoisseur of tequila, you may think this is not the best way to enjoy a good bottle of tequila. Same with gin, rum, vodka. It's the truth, like this is not the best way to enjoy the spirits. However, these are the bottles that I have. I will say at the bar, I do not use these spirits. I use whatever is on the rail because of the cost. If I were to mark this up properly, it would be a rather expensive cocktail. The vodka I'm using is Union Horse Rider Vodka. The light rum is El Dorado three year. The gin is Plymouth Gin. The Blanco Tequila is Siete Leguas Blanco. And the triple sec is Luxardo Triplum Triple Sec. Oh, and the cola is Coca-Cola. <laughs> Again, this is the booze that I'm using. Don't go out and buy all these bottles. You'll spend a pretty penny just for this one cocktail. Don't do that, unless you have them already, like I do. Let's build this monster. <laughs> I'm really selling this cocktail, aren't I? <laughs> The build on this cocktail is actually quite easy. It's all equal parts as far as booze. So it's gonna be one, 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 all booze. Same with the lemon and then 
half part of the rich demerara syrup. You could use simple too. I like the rich dem. As far as the, the Coke, that's just a, a topper. Okay, let's start with the vodka. One ounce of vodka. One ounce of light rum. One ounce of gin. One ounce of Blanco tequila. One ounce of triple sec. One ounce of fresh lemon juice. And half an ounce of your rich Demerara syrup. And now that our shaking tin is completely full, we can add ice and shake. Get your ice. You don't have to shake it too long, but I do like to aerate the cocktail, dilute it, kind of take the edge off of this thing a little bit. Grab your glass. I just open pour right into the glass because this is the kind of cocktail that that works and it's easy. Dump it right in. And it should just about fill your glass. There's a little bit of room and that's gonna be for the Coke. They say add enough Coke for color. You're not gonna really get strong Coke flavor, but it's gonna make it look more like iced tea. And just top it off. For color. <laughs> for garnish, you can do a lemon wedge. I'm gonna do a wheel. <laughs> like that. Got some straws. There it is. The Long Island iced tea. <laughs> Looks refreshing. Looks like it should. Okay. That's actually really good. Oz has never had a Long Island, so I would like her to take a sip of this on camera, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. I give you the Long Island iced tea. It is <laughs> impressive. What do you think? It's not that crazy. Right. I taste tequila. I never drank these in college, but somehow I know it tastes like college. The, uh, the tequila does stand out. And I think that, if I'm not mistaken, further west, like out towards California, if you order a Long Island iced tea, you don't get tequila in it. Oh really? Yeah, if you want it with tequila, you would order a Texas tea. That's my understanding. I've never bartended out there, so... I apologize if I have that wrong. It's not bad. It doesn't. No, it's not. It's not. It's surprisingly drinkable, especially if you're okay with tequila. I just know by instinct that this would like <laughs> you up. <laughs> yeah. What really makes this thing, I think, is the shaking. So it's like slushy and, and airy as opposed to just pouring it right into the glass. I remember the first Long Island iced tea I had. I had no idea what it was, but everybody else was drinking it. The bartender shook the thing forever and it came out and it was almost like a slushy. So I thought, oh, the Long Island iced tea is a real classy beverage. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people think there's iced tea and Long Island mm. iced teas. There is something that is reminiscent of Tea, I think. Totally, which is totally weird because there's no tea in it. The closest it's thing to tea in this would be the melted ice. <laughs> <laughs> I would be on the floor if I drank all of this. Yeah, I'll get I'll, I'll get started on so, another one. So, no, but if you're in the mood to clear out your liquor cabinet, yeah. then... Yeah. This is definitely an interesting one. We've mm -hmm. never done anything like this so far on the channel, but... It is something that you are asked for. It's like Long Island iced tea, Cosmo, margarita. Like these are things that, that are gonna get ordered. The bar that I work at is we focus on pre-prohibition classics. And then on Tuesdays we do Tiki Tuesday, but I still make plenty of Long Island iced teas and Cosmopolitans. That's the way it is. There's no way around <laughs> it. People like what they like. like. Man, this is, I the, mm. It's beginning I, to taste more and more dangerous as it gets like, <laughs> 
less yeah. icy cold. That's why you have to drink it quickly. I'm kidding. No, don't, 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 don't do drink that. It quickly. No. Like I feel that feeling mm. like, ooh, it's like burning a little bit in my stomach. Maybe you need to get some crackers or something. I, actually, yeah. Make sure you eat something before you drink this. Yeah, or during. I would say that it's fine, but I do think that all of the taste of like the rum and the tequila is triggering some memories that I'm not too fond of. It's like an exceptionally dirty margarita. A lot of stuff going on in this one. And the kitchen sink too. I already feel it. Do you? I know that feeling when I start, I, I can taste the alcohol on my breath. That's what I, that's not good. That's bad. I know from experience that that's bad for me. Wait, for wait, me. Wait, wait, I just taste? know that's like, that's just, I already, that's an early sign of alcohol. like, you need to stop. You need to stop right now. <laughs> All right, you can have the lemon. Okay. <laughs> I'm turning red. I can feel it. No, oh, cheers. So who invented it? We don't know. Was it? Was it Bobby Butt? Was it Bobby was Butt? It, was it was Rose Was it Butt? old Rose Butt? Or was it old man Bishop? Was it... I'm guessing old man Bishop. All right, right? so that's that's it. That's it, thanks for my to, very first uh, Long Island. And now that I can say that I've had one, I, I can check that off my list. I didn't even know you had the list. There wasn't a list until yeah. this video was being made. That's it, Long Island iced tea. Holy crap. When you make this, use Whatever booze you want. If you want to add a peach liqueur, add a peach liqueur. I, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say the number one thing though is shake it up to, to Bob Butt. <laughs> if you like this video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Cheers. Okay, so I get something to eat, and that's, we'll call it a day. <laughs>